Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. 827 here on The Breakfast Club. It is the first Monday of the month, and that means Bristol Community College President Laura L. Douglas is on the phone with us today to talk about the new Mass Educates proposal. Hello there, Laura. Good morning. Well, good morning and happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Great to talk with you again. Same here. So we're going to talk about this proposal on Mass Educate, which is a proposal for free community college for those people here in Massachusetts. All right. Well, how does that work? Tell us a little bit about uh, the proposal and uh, maybe how and when the uh, Mass Mass Educate proposal benefits uh, will uh, impact our region. Sure. Well, first of all, the the reason behind this program is to boost our state's workforce. Uh, We really need a trained and educated workforce, uh, especially as we try to hold on to our competitive uh, position here in the Commonwealth. And it's also uh, aimed at expanding opportunities for students and families in every corner uh, of the state. Uh, It means that we would invest, or the state would, the Senate has proposed this uh, program Program and uh, the state would invest about $75.5 million in new spending to cover uh, tuition and fees for all residents, and that would also include up to $1,200 for books and supplies and other costs especially those who are of uh, lower um, income. So uh, it's really a fantastic opportunity. And, you know, I think it's also important to say that um, this is this program will encourage students who didn't previously see college as a pathway uh, to their future. Um, this includes students that are not only just low income, uh, who believe that college is unaffordable, but it also encourages students from middle class backgrounds who see college to rates skyrocketing and squeezing them out of the opportunity to uh, attend college. So if the legislature passes Mass Reconnect, uh, students would be eligible uh, as early as this fall. And that would be very, very exciting. And uh, I think also worth mentioning is that the Massachusetts Association of Community Colleges um, estimates that we would increase college uh, uh, uh enrollment by 4,000 students, and that is, uh, and degree completion by about 2,000 students. So this could be both for certificates and degrees. And they also predict that through this program, Massachusetts um, could see an additional $160 million more in total uh, annual wages. And that's huge for the Commonwealth, right? So that's kind of the plan. Uh, So we hope that people will start to think, hmm, how do I get ready for this? Is there an age limit? Uh, Is there an age uh, bracket that people can take advantage of the Mass Educate proposal or uh, is it open to anybody? Yeah, students would need to be 18 and older. Okay. Uh, That's the only qualification. With Mass Reconnect, which we started last fall, that was a program that was specifically for students who are 25 and older. Uh, I think the other nice thing about this proposal is that if you already have an associate's degree, you could come back to get another degree. So, for example, if you studied, uh, let's say, communication and you wanted to come, you've decided that you wanted to be a nurse you could come back uh, under this proposal and earn that nursing degree uh, so there's no there's no maximum age limit, there's no limitation. maximum age no got it Mm-mm. great and then you say that it's possible that this could be rolled out starting in the fall it's possible yes great. uh so uh you know that doesn't give people a lot of time yeah. so if you've been thinking you know, if our listeners out there are saying well gee i wasn't planning to go to school in the fall but now that i hear this maybe i should i should consider going uh it's really important to apply for admission and also to apply for financial aid using the the federal financial aid form which is called the fafsa or the massachusetts federal aid form which is called the mafsa and if if listeners want uh, to uh, understand uh, more about what they need to do, they can certainly call the college. Our admissions team uh, would certainly help them, as well as our financial aid team. We've got people who are he- there to help fill out those forms. And they, they can be very daunting, and we don't want that to be mm. uh, a, a stop or a barrier to anyone who's thinking about college. 
And how can they get have access to that information? Where should they go? Or what, what's the number? Oh, to call? they can go to bristolcc.edu, which is our webpage, www.bristolcc.edu, and just click on admissions, right. and they can find uh, information about how to apply. Now, we don't have any information on our website yet about Mass Educate because right. it hasn't been passed yet. Yep. But we'll help get everyone positioned for that magical moment. Mm, and they can keep visiting that website uh, as time goes by to see if anything has been updated on that. Proposal, That's right. 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 Absolutely. And we'll come out with a full campaign uh, uh, as soon as we possibly can uh, once we have more information. Great, Laura. Thanks for being with us today. You're welcome. And I hope everyone out there who's listening uh, that has a friend or a family member or themselves who have put off college because they think it's too expensive or out of reach uh, will consider going to college this fall at any one of our Massachusetts community colleges. Thank you, Laura. Have a great and safe uh, July 4th, too. You as well. Happy Thank you. 4th of we'll July. Talk to you again soon. Bye now. Thank you.